Okay. Hi, this is Connie Blacknet, and I'm just going to uh, let my grandson share a dream that he had a couple months ago. So uh, he's going to tell it, and he's uh, 11 years old, and uh, he's going to share a dream that he had. Okay, so be blessed. So I was walking up a trail, and in every few steps that I took, um, like my brothers and then my sisters, and then my uncles and my aunties to my grandparents and my parents, and then and then eventually we got to this hill and we were walking for about an hour up the hill, and and then we look over, all the, we we get we reach the top of the hill and then there's there's beautiful lights there's everything was bright bright gold beautiful and. And after we walked down, we walked down the hill, and 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 then there's Jesus, and Jesus tells every single one of us. There's probably a hundred of us, and they ask everything, every single one of us, one by one, why should why should I I allow you to be here? And and, and everyone talks um, uh, until until he gets to me, and I was the last one, and I told him. That I pray every day and I ask for forgiveness every single day, and and then he tells me, those who pray to me, I shall forgive. And then and then and then I wake up. And that's the end of your dream. Yep. Wow, that's an awesome dream. So you've seen a lot of people. Like your holy relatives and everything, they were all going up. They were all going up the hill or yeah. mountain. We were, it, it was more of a, like a huge grass hill. Huge grass hill. It was like there was like trees, like a whole bunch of trees on the side, and then there was grass, and then there was just a dirt path. Oh, a dirt path! Wow. So that's my grandson. He's seven years old, and he's telling you about. Uh, a dream that he had recently, and the dream, of course, he mentions that it was Jesus, and he said he couldn't believe it was Jesus talking to him and asking him why he should be let in. And once I got there, I started crying of tears of joy. Wow. I was so happy that I got there. Amen. Thank you for sharing that, Sonny. Thank you very much. Yeah. It was like a dream of safety and protection. Presence of Jesus. Here's another video, brethren. Please share this one. This was on Brother Tony Lamb's website, TonyLamb.org. Watchman of God. Jesus is coming for his first flock. Look to the east. S H Nickers one two three YouTube channel name. Hey guys, I wanted to share something, and I think it's very fitting that I find myself sharing this message right now because when I started my channel the Lord never had me um, speak a lot about the rapture because there are so many other channels that not only cover it but understand it and have studied it much longer and truly sought after the Lord for wisdom on that on that incredible mystery under heaven which leave no doubt Anyone that, you know, has trouble believing or is a little skeptical, know that there are mysteries under the heavens that the Lord has reserved for those who are truly in a relationship with him, that truly love him, that truly want him not only to return, but want to spend eternity with him. I'll be honest with you, years and years back, I remember um, one time hearing someone talking about the Lord coming back. And I looked at my life and I said, I had, I had two, my children were a little younger then. And they were, you know, I hadn't seen them really grow up yet. And I had to real, and I was, uh, I have an incredible wife, uh, happily married. And I had to ask myself a serious question. If the Lord came back tomorrow, would I be ready? If that trumpet sounded, when I, ancient, with my full heart, run, if I was inside, would I run 
or jump through a window just to be outside and look to the sky for him and say, Jesus, I am here. Take me. Forgive me. Take me. I'm ready. Would, would I be in that state? I had to ask myself that question. And I find myself here today sharing this message. And I can tell you with every ounce of, my, of, of everything that I am, that I want to spend eternity with the Lord and that at any moment, I'm ready for his return. I can truly say that. I couldn't say that eight, nine years ago. And I want to share, this past Friday night, I was in prayer with the Lord. Uh, he called on me. I, I ended up um, just humbling myself before the Lord crying out to him. And again, I found myself saying to him, Lord, why don't they, they still don't see there's so many people sound asleep in this world that have just, uh, they're not only under a strong delusion, but they, I know you have gone to them and shown them your power and shown them the truth about this world, how wicked it is. And that what we see with our fleshly eyes is not truth. And they still don't believe. And I asked them, Lord, how much longer? I just flat out asked him. And look, it wasn't a, th I, a thing I asked to gain knowledge or anything like that. I asked him out of all sincerity for those of us who are anxiously waiting for him to return and cannot wait. And I heard clear as a bell, guys, look to the east. Look to the east. Um, I was a little bit in shock at first, but I was very humbled. And over the weekend, I took some time to study scripture, and he led me to Matthew 24, 27. And in that verse, it states, As surely as lightning flashes from the east even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And when I read this passage, I want to tell you, it was hard for me to get up off the floor after I read that passage. We know what's going on in the skies. With, why are they covering up things around the sun? I mean, we, if, if you truly seek the Lord, he will give you wisdom and knowledge on that. He did for me. I'm nothing special. I'm just dust. He could cave this ceiling in on me right now, and he would be justified. Because none of us are worthy in that way. None of us are righteous. Only with him and his sacrifice covered by the blood of the Lamb, who is worthy. Trust me, he's worthy. And he does have mysteries and wonderful things reserved for those who truly love him and that are in a relationship with him daily. That all their, your thoughts are captive. You know, you find yourself speaking to him throughout the day. It's something that's, it just comes as like, it is your true self coming through. Your true self. When I read the passage in Matthew and then was praying all week and asking the Lord, you know, look to the east. He's already shown all of us. We know what's going on with the sun. And he is saying, look to the east. And I believe that that is a key thing to his return. No one knows the day or the hour. I'm not here to do. I'm not here to, to speak on that at all. But I'm saying Please, I'm pleading with you, be prepared. Be prepared because time here on earth is an illusion. The Lord doesn't operate under the same guidelines that earth does. His kingdom is separate. It could be literally, when the Lord has shown me, there's no more time left. The hourglass is empty. The things being set up behind the scenes that are all nothing but pure wickedness, they're already in place. They're just waiting on something. What are they waiting on, I wonder? I wonder if they're waiting on the Lord, and I want to share something with you. He put in my heart yesterday something that, that I was very grateful for, and that was the first flock. And I, asked him, I was saying, Lord, what first flock? And then it hit me. When he comes to take his, his first flock off of earth, as in the catching away, 
as in the rapture. And anyone that knows me knows I don't speak about the rapture. That's not what my that's not something that my channel has done. And for me to speak on it, and for the Lord to share that with me, I truly feel that something has changed and something to, uh, time has not only been sped up, but there's there's like I said, no more time. I love all of you. I'm praying for all of you. Now is not the time to find yourself engaged in any vitriol or hate because I'm telling you, he he did it for you so that you can make it back home. There's no action I can take in this world that could ever make me worthy of that gift. This is the we're talking about a love that you can't understand. None of us can quantify it. And people want to try to justify actions based on them receiving a gift. From the most high. That's impossible. When he says, be holy, because as I am holy, he's talking about your thoughts, your actions, striving in that manner. When you truly love him, you see the world differently and you don't go meddling in all those snares of the devil like you used to. Only the Lord can do that for you. I'm praying for you. He is on your side more than you know. And his love is a power that none of us can describe. I want us all to make it. And between then, now and then, when we do make it, please take love towards your brothers and sisters. We're all different. We're all, we're all going through different experiences, different tribulations right now in the world. Be understanding and compassionate, just like the Lord Jesus would do, has done, has done for us. He doesn't have to do anything. He has done it. Never forget that. I love you guys. If anyone has heard or knows anything about Look to the East, please share a comment. Be loving in your comments and understanding. Lift others up. That is the only way. We'll talk later. Bye. Please share that video.